Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're in Columbus, Ohio, where there are over 105,000 fans getting ready to see the start of this one. Buffalo tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. And with that, we kick off our season. Stewart takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. Hairston's overall ability, Herbie, has got to drive you crazy if you're a defensive coach. Yeah, you look at a defensive coordinator trying to slow this guy down. It's next to impossible. He can do so many different things. And today, they're going to try to put pressure on him because if you sit back, he, can, he just makes too many things happen. run and he's brought down white gets about four yards on the play that makes it second and six he scrambled decides to slide this is a pretty tough guy and he's a great leader he's going to do whatever it takes to help his team Green pass. He's got his half back. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. Rolled, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. Very intelligent play call. Dialing up the option on third down, and it worked like a charm. He's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. Well, you can't blame the O-line when it's the cornerback who gets the sack. Yep, especially when it's a crafty veteran like this guy. He does a good job of not giving the blitz away before the snap. From the 33-yard line, second down. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Nearly intercepted, and that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Ohio State could take the lead with this field goal. And he missed it to the right, so they come up empty-handed there. Kickers have to have a short memory. Just go out and make the next one. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Fires quickly to the fullback. It looks like he's a little bit short of the first. The quarterback should have known better than to throw that pass. At least give the receiver time to get past the first down line before you throw it. Matthew, back to return it. And he muffed it. 
He was definitely peeking to see what kind of space he had to run. And that loss of focus is what cost him. Well, at least for now, the crisis was averted and they keep control of the ball. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle around the 46-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. Fired quickly, and he's got his man. Nothing gained on the play. Once the wide receiver made the catch, he just kind of ran out of real estate. There was nowhere for him to go. Set, 10, 20, high. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes at about the 47-yard line. That makes it 33. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Tighten up. Tighten up. Pull together. On play action, he'll scramble. Dives, and he's down. third down. Set, ten, nine, ten. Now he pitches it. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. That brings us fourth and three. Watch two, watch two. Again with a carry. He gets hit out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Scrambling around. He's tackled at about the 19-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Tackled right around the eight yard line. That makes it first and goal. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. Here's the 12th play of the drive. The 10-yard line. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. It's third down, and they come up to the line about nine yards away from the end zone. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a 13-play, 66-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 7-0.
The Buckeyes really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen, and they'll bring him down behind the line. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Buckeyes with a touchdown lead. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Pass, man open, and he dropped it. Third and 11 here. Ball on the 24-yard line. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. Slings it. Holdenkrog was the intended receiver on the play. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. This is a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Miller to punt. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Ohio State is up by a touchdown. Throws complete, he's hit right away. Game of four on the way. That makes it second and six. He's on the run. Brought down right around the 20. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And he adds the extra point. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's going to try and scramble. And he dives forward. And they finally bring him down at the 34. That was a good looking play, and it sort of caught the defense off guard. That makes it first and 10. Gets out to around the 18. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. And he's taken down at the 20. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 20. Gobbled up in the backfield. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Touchdown, 
touchdown, Bulls. He makes the PAT. His kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Tackle made at the 32. Ohio State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to. There's a fumble. The offense scoops it. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. <laughs> Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Ohio State is up a score. Flips it middle to the running back. And they make the stop around the 18 yard line. That'll bring up third and long. Roger, Roger. Mike 36. Mike 36. And they got him. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play, and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Bryant takes it at the 45. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. throw to the tight end and he hits him hard at the 25 yard line that makes it second and six there's a strike complete and he's level at the 15 yard line what a throw for a big game that is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch it's first and ten ball on the 15 yard line he's on the run the 10 a huge play and now they're in a great position to score that makes it first and goal Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Let's check in on what's going on in the top five and perhaps some BCS implications. The Crimson Tides have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. Alabama leads it 7-0. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. They line up to kick this one away. Gross from the seven. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 41. Good 
good open field tackle. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He scrambled. They'll bring him down right around the 40. And he has a huge gain. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him. He takes off. Ends up with a great run. Complete. He's got room. And he tackles him hard at the 31. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Good tackle there in space. They'll spread the field with five wide. Short over the middle. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at the two-yard line. That brings him second and goal. He's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 73-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll take it from the two. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 43. That's good for a game 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Now he's scrambling. Dives for extra yardage. Wow, what an offensive display by both teams in the first half. 21-14, Ohio State. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Sends it sailing downfield. Brought down at the 16. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Here he goes. Makes it out to about the 29. That's a team of 13 on the play. Tries to get around the corner. Good outside run there. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six.
He might not be able to get the pass off. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Boy, this defense is doing a great job of bringing pressure. That time they brought a blitz and allowed the defensive line to break loose and get to the quarterback. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. He steps up. He throws left. This one will fall incomplete. Defense does a really good job here of timing it up and knocking the ball away. I think they were anticipating pass on third down. Now we'll see what happens here on this big fourth down. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Ohio State is up seven. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes at the 49. That makes it second and eight. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 34. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. He's tackled around the 20-yard line. Inside the 10, and he's tackled around the three-yard line. Tackle made just outside the goal line. That brings up second and goal. From the one-yard line, second down. Scrambling around, decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The Buckeyes running back. He was injured early. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. Bellamy ready to kick. Adams fields at the goal line. Tackle at the 32-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That brings up second and nine. the 37-yard line. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 37. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Quick strike, and he drops it. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. Matthews is the deep man awaiting the return. Right. 
He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. The Buckeyes have shown here in the third quarter they're not content to just sit on that lead they built in the first half. Well, they did a nice job in the first half, but the adjustments that they made at halftime have allowed them to find some matchups to their advantage, and they've taken uh, full advantage of that. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Fires out to his wideout. And they push him out at about the 39-yard line. Taken down at about the 35. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Crimson Tides enter today's game ranked number one in the nation and knowing everybody's taking aim at them. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Alabama, they look to start their season off on the right foot. The Crimson Tide on top, 14-3. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Hairston's play so far in this football game, he's really the definition of just being a solid competitor every week. Yeah, I mean, you and I have been watching him, and just every week he has impressed us. And then to be able to sit down and talk with him, I think that's the thing that really I took away from our meeting is not just is this guy a talented player, but how competitive he is. And we've seen that again in this football game, just his competitive spirit leading this team. And up to this point, just a flawless performance. in the middle. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it first and ten. fake and looking to run dives and he's down that's a great tackle at midfield Make the stop at the 50. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. Ohio State's got a three touchdown advantage. A 
All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. to the halfback on the screen. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop, and now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. So they're going to go for it here. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's hit immediately. First down. Hey, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble. And they get the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. He's taken down at the 31 yard line. Black on the tackle at the 31 yard line. That'll bring up 32. Here's the 11th play of the drive. He's tackled in the open field. That's a game of third on the play. First down. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Key 81, key 81. My five, my five. Six, six, five, two, five, two. two. Pressured and brought down. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm really interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive linemen and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. Throws it out right to the running back. And he is drilled at the 18-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That'll bring him third and six. Four down, four down. My five, my five, my five. Ready, easy, easy, easy. Quick strike to the receiver. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Mackey on the tackle at the six-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick pass. They'll bring him down right around the four-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That brings him second to goal. Touchdown, Bulls. Shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Cowboys come into this one ranked number 16 in the land. And for Oklahoma State, they're trying to win their first game of the year. Oklahoma State leads it 7-3. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Tackle made at the 41. Ohio State's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row.
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's got an opening. Tackle around the 33-yard line. Buffalo's going to take their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And that's a first down. First down, and now they have an opportunity to run some more time off the clock. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Makes it to the 21. A gain of eight on the carry. Buffalo will use their final timeout. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Big play and it's first and goal. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Set Oklahoma. Set. He's into the open field and down he goes around the two yard line. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three yard line. converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and restate. Time to get you up to date on what's going on in the top five. Potentially major BCS implications. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Georgia, just playing a little pitch and catch and it results in a touchdown. Alabama leads it 28-16. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Bellamy is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. They'll work the left. Nice run up the middle. This one's in the books, and our final score, Ohio State 42, Buffalo 21. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.